Alright guys, today we are going to start HTML and CSS. You can see I already have about 27% of it done. Um, but I did this a while back, like probably nine months, and I need a refresher and I didn't do any videos on it. So we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning and work our way through. So up first, introduction to HTML, HTML basics. Alright, so in this case, we, we're going to need to reset the code since we've already done it. Um, so you can see right here, doc type HTML, and change the text on line 2 uh, between anything you like. So let's we'll change it to uh, the standard hello world. Uh, save and submit, and it says hello world. Perfect. Easy enough. Uh, strong, basically it's just bold. The tag for bold, rather. This is talking about cascading st style sheets, CSS. Um, helps make your website look pretty, it basically says. So, um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and put three lines mentioned above the test.html, which is now blank. And we want to put our HTML tag, and it looks like our ending HTML tag. three lines mentioned above and then we need uh, of course our document HTML this is basically saying to read the HTML and then we need that should be it right so we just this is basically what you want to think of it as is the bare essentials to get your HTML code to work So one more time we're going to be putting the exclamation point doc type HTML and I don't know if this is case sensitive or not. I've never actually tested it, so um, I guess you could test it on your your own time. And then the with HTML you always have an ending bracket. In this case, we'll we'll do again. Hello world. Save and submit. Cool. So just remember the doc type HTML in the HTML section. Alright, next we're going to be adding a header tag and a closing head tag. Um, uh, you'd have to look at a little bit more of what a head tag is, but it's basically, I don't want to explain it wrong, but it's just part of HTML, kind of like a body. It's almost good to think of it as a header of a page, I guess would be the best way to think about it. Uh, then we want to add a title. And then I want to add a closing title. And you notice how everything's getting layered within. Uh, so things get closed. It's important to know what you're going to put in there. So for the title, we are going to put my web page. Oops. And we're going to save and submit. And you don't see anything because it's actually the title up here, I believe. If I remember correctly. Alright, so underneath the closing head tag, put an opening body tag and a closing body tag. So, as you can see right here, so it wants to be underneath the head. We're going to have our body, and then we're going to have our closing body, and then inside the body, create two paragraphs each, each paragraph. Alright, so this is kind of how you display text to a degree. If I remember correctly, um, hello world. And then we'll create another paragraph, right? And this one will say, hello to you too. Alright, so you see our text, everything's going nicely. Next up, we're going to work with something called body elements. So, in the body section, create a heading. To do this, create a H1. So, uh, there's various H's, but like H1, H2, and they each do various things in regards to size of text. So, um, make sure you put your slash. And then we want to add content. Hello world. I think we're going to leave world capitalized for something. So you can see this is this heading is 
significantly bigger. So let's try, we'll do H5, and H5, and you can see right there it's smaller. But in this case, for example, I ask for H1. Uh, we want to close it. Underneath the heading tag, create two paragraphs. All right, so in this case, we're just going to write out our two paragraph. And in this case, let's see, uh, we'll write greetings, friends. And then we will write goodbye, world. Sounds a little bit morbid, but so I figure hello world, goodbye world. All right, so next we're going to be messing around with the H1, H3, and H5 paragraphs. So your code currently has one H1 heading and two paragraphs. Add an H3 heading before the second paragraph. So this is paragraph one, this is paragraph two. Uh, so we want to add the second heading, so we're going to say H3. And you see how our text change. Hello. And then an H5 after the second paragraph. So let's see here. H5. Hello, closing H5, and then it wants us to add a third paragraph after this heading. So we'll say P, we'll just say hello world. And then closing P. And so you get to see a little bit of what's going on here. So cool. Um, pretty basic stuff so far. So we're going to add three more headings to this code, H2, H4, and H6. Uh, under each heading in a short paragraph, don't forget paragraphs need to start with them. Yeah. All right, so um, let's try and do it in order a little bit. So uh, we'll keep on doing hello. So this will be H2. Hello, world. And then we're going to closing H2. And then that's H3. And then we'll do another H4 here. And then we can do hello, world. And we will have a closing H4. H5, and then let's see, H6. H6. Hello, world. And then closing H6. And it says under each heading, add a short paragraph. Don't forget the paragraphs need an opening and closing. So, um, we, we added H2, so in this case, we can start with a P here, and then we need a closing P before the end of the closing H2, and then we added H4, so we we'll have a P here, and then we need a closing P, then we added an H6, so we need a paragraph here, and we need our closing paragraph. And so it looks like a lot, but I believe that's what they are asking. So cool. So we have a lot of hellos, hello world, and everything in between. So add a title between the title tags. Um, we'll call this hello title. And then we need to create an H3 size heading in the body. So. This is the body. Alright, let's start. Hello title. Create an H3 size heading in the body. Just don't forget to close it. Create three paragraph tags. 
Looks like we already have done that with our previous thing. Yeah, so kind of a weird example. So let's go ahead and reset this. Alright, so you're going places. In the body section, create a link. Um, Alright, so enough of all that garbage we're doing. Add description to your link. Close the element with a closing tag. Alright, so say we want to create a link, a clickable link. It's, you start with the A and then the href. And then you say it's equal to, and then some some uh, website. So we'll just, we'll just do codeacademy.com, and then you put the closing uh, bracket, but not the closing out. And then in it, we're gonna say some text for the link. This is a link. And you can see it up top, and then. So, we want to close it so that it doesn't have any other text behind it that clicks on this link. So if we were to click in it, oh, it's only happened, but uh, it's, we'll work on that later. But, you know, that's the link. So let's see here. We want to reset the code. Um, Add a second image below the first one. So you can see right here, in their case, they have added a, a uh, rubber ducky. So we need to add something equally good. So let's go ahead and we're going to go pull up Google. And we are just going to say meme. and see what comes up. Whatever the first meme is, real life. Never heard of that server. Okay, so we're going to copy image URL. Go ahead and exit out of that. We're going to just go ahead and put that in there. And bam, there's our, our thug life going on right there. Um, save and submit. Huh. Oh, okay. So we need our closing, um, our closing, uh, parentheses there. We seem to have accidentally deleted it. So in this case, we're going to create an A tag, all right, <laughs> in the body. So, and we are going to we'll just go ahead and copy and put this in there because we're just gonna put codecademy in here and between your opening a tag and closing a tag don't forget the src alright so that's that right there alright uh, codecademy ending A, and I believe that should be it. Make sure here it is. Oh, okay, they wanted us to um, my mistake. So they wanted us to open up something? Is that what's going on here? Let's, let's see a hint. I'm not sure what they're asking. So they make sure you put a full web address a link URL, an image URL. Okay, so what's happening here is instead of having text, you can actually have a clickable image. That's what they want us to do. So we will just layer these appropriately. So notice we'll leave our ending A bracket here and then our closing one like that. And then this one will be what we'd be able to click on. You see now that it's a link, we can click on it. All right. So in this case, we are going to um, create two Im add two images with the image tag. One should be a link, the other should be not. So we're going to have a href equals something, closing bracket. Um, and then we will have uh, a closing A here, Oops. and then we need another 
<coughs> excuse me, it's an image src equals <coughs> excuse me. And yes, image src, and then make sure you have the closing slash at the end. And we'll have to do the same thing here. And so we need to go ahead and go get some images again. So let's type in meme. Go to images. Get. I got back with my Xbox 360. Copy image URL. Um, very, very good memes. Uh, and I say to her, I says, no, I got you. Your nose. All right. <laughs> and. So apparently we didn't copy the uh, URL properly. So there is the first one, and then this one is actually we messed up here. This needs to go in here, and that will display that. And this will just go to I guess Facebook.com or something. So we can click this one. We can't click this one. We go ahead and close that, and let's go ahead and save and submit. Make sure you have three elements. Should allow to add two images. Use image tag. One should be a link, the other should not. Link not. After two images, create a link that's just a line text. Oh, okay. So a href equals uh, Facebook.com, and then Facebook link, link, and then closing a. And if we scroll down, we can see very tinyly right here our Facebook link. And so let's go ahead and save and submit. And then last but not least, uh, congratulations. We now know the basics. So those are our HTML basics. We learned how to insert an image. We learned basically the formal setup of an HTML document, how to put a title to a web page. Um, create an image or put an image and links and kind of how to loop those together. So let's see what we will be be doing next. Um, next we will be building our own web page it looks like. So uh, yeah sandwiches. I like eggs and ham but mostly sandwiches. I don't know. I guess that's their example. I don't remember typing that but that's a pretty good example I guess uh, for our sandwich website. So I will see you guys next video.